Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place, Tarot. How's everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be your next love connection. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. Welcome, welcome. I wanted to do something a little more lighthearted, a little more fun and predictive, right? So pile one is going to be the latte with the rose quartz. Pile two is going to be the lapis lazuli with the keys. And then a pile three is going to be the black obsidian angel or the black obsidian stone with the sunglasses. So I'm not sure if you want to pick by the picture or by the rock, the gem. Um, but let me give you a few seconds to decide. Go ahead, breathe in. Breathe out and say my mantra with me. I am happy, I am healthy, and I am wealthy. Amen. So let's go ahead and ring my singing bowl. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Sandophon, Archangel Jophiel. Only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. No malefic, no trickster spirits, and no demons. Help me to read. For each pile, protect me as I read. I am happy, I am healthy, and I am wealthy. Amen. Alrighty. So pile number one, pile number one. What is your next love connection? Let's see. Pile one, let's see. You could be a coffee drinker. You could also need your heart opened. Uh, the rose quartz, somebody gave me uh, this rose quartz at work, actually. Um, I found their foam for them. They dropped their foam and I found it and he gave me this. So I thought that was really nice of him. So somebody, um, you could need rose quartz to help you feel more loving, help you be more giving is also what I'm hearing. Just a really nice stone. Okay, let's see what is your next love connection. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading. If I say something and you know it's not you, just throw it out, okay? If you would like to book a personal reading, you can go to beautifulplacetarot at gmail.com or my socials are down below if you want to hit me up on TikTok or Instagram. I do provide only two readings, a general face-to-face -face reading and a 10-question pre-recorded that's all i offer guys they're both 50 dollars. so okay we got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so maybe you're in a connection or maybe there's somebody that lives long distance is also what i'm hearing with this card bottom of the deck getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay so this could be a new person this could be a new person Honeymoon, you could be going on vacation with this person, getting to know their family, getting to know each other. Give me one, please, spirit. We got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you guys might have differences in upbringing or religious paths. I'm hearing somebody here could be Jewish. Only take what resonates, obviously. Okay, all right. Pile number uno. Pile number one. Let's move it like that. Okay, let's see. What else is going to happen in this love connection? What do you need to know? And then we'll see who you are and we'll see who they are. What's going to happen in this next love connection? For hopefully just the two involved, right? <laughs> Let's see. We have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Very nice. Very nice. We'll put that under honeymoon. I mean, that's what a honeymoon is, right? It's love. It's passion. It's all that good stuff. Bottom of the deck, we have butterfly. 
Relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth, under getting to know each other. Okay, so you could be getting to know this person, going to the next phase. I like it. I like it. Let's do religious factors, please, spirit. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We have hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Mm. So somebody here is being strategic. You know, I'm hearing um, love is a losing game, but that's not really what I wanted to say. So I just heard love is a losing game, but I wanted to say love is a battlefield. Is that like a Pat Benatar? Love is a battlefield. I don't know who sings that. I think it's Pat Benatar. Comment down below if you know who sings that. Love is a battlefield. It's like an 80s song. Heartache to heartache. We spend... I don't know. Love is a battlefield. I'm hearing it, though. Okay. Let's see if I can accurately describe you, and then we will accurately describe your person. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. For the person, person watching spirit, who are they, please? Ooh, we got three of swords in the reverse. You want to come out of heartbreak. You could have had lots of heartbreak in the past. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy oh wow we got eight of pentacles in the reverse virgo taurus capricorn i was gonna say i know these cards are not all in the reverse look at mm, you could have got backstabbed and betrayed too somebody probably didn't want to work something out with you in your past is what i'm hearing bottom of the deck the hierophant in the reverse oh my god that is uh someone who's immoral could be could be a Taurus energy. You could be a Taurus. You could be somebody who didn't want to commit in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could have just came out of a heartbreaking situation. Not working it out. You didn't want to work it out. Is what I'm hearing. You didn't want to work it out with somebody. Okay. Give me three card spirit. Who are they going to be in a next love connection with? Show me who is their next love connection. Mm, interesting. Very interesting for pile one. Love. Unconditional love. Self-love. Oneness. You might have had to teach yourself self-love, pile one. Like how to give to yourself and not give to other people so much is what I'm hearing. Who are they going to be in the next connection with? We got eight of wands in the reverse. Somebody who is going to be hard, a little bit hard to talk to, to communicate with. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay. Right here. Five of cups in the reverse. Somebody who could have felt guilty in the past or like crying over spilled milk. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. If they're not a fire sign, they could be a water sign. Who else is this spirit? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody who isn't going to hold back their feelings, their time, their money. They're going to be uh, open with how they feel about you. They're not going to hold back. But in their past, they could have been hurt as well. Is what I feel. They could be a earth sign water sign or a fire sign comment down below let me know if this resonates let's see love messages and communication what does your person want to say to you me three please archangel michael for pile one i feel so guilty about my action and what i said to you yeah we're gonna put this over the five of cups because that's guilty right remorse guilt crying over spilled milk i feel so guilty about my action and what i said to you this could be somebody from your past i didn't want to go there right away but it could be this could be an ex situation mm -hmm. it could have been somebody who didn't want to commit in the past as well bottom of the deck i feel empty without you yeah what i just say see 
I'm channeling, guys, before I can pull over the cards. I'm telling you, this is somebody who you could have had in your past. I feel empty without you. It could be somebody as well that's new, okay? And that feels like they need you in their life. This is what I'm hearing from spirit. Give me one more, please. What else do they want to say, the person in their next love connection, spirit? Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. Yeah, we're going to put this on top of the hierophant in the, in the reverse. And we'll put, I feel empathy without you by the three of swords. Yeah, please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. Yeah, this person has a runner, runner written all over them. They could be a runner. They could be avoidant, avoidant. Okay, let's see what else they want to say. Let's see what else they want to say to my pile ones. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates. Right here. I can feel that magnetic pull towards you. They feel a magnetic pull towards you. Definitely on top of passion. I mean, yeah. Yep, bottom of the deck. I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. Yeah, we're going to put this on top of commitment because that's what I hear from men. Why they don't commit. They feel like they can't provide. I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. Wow. That's crazy. Somebody, you might have to go slow with this person, okay? Let's do the middle of the deck, spirit. Oh, future love. Let's see. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Let's go here. I regret how I've handled the situation. Yeah, look at this, man. This has been all about regret right here, this aisle. That's crazy. This definitely might be somebody from your past, pile one. Look at this. First, we had the five of cups in the reverse. I feel so guilty about my action when what I said to you. I regret how I've handled the situation. So this person is in regret. They regret some stuff, man. They they probably regret not working it out with you. That's what I'm hearing. Relationship evolving. Maybe they didn't take it to the next phase. They need to heal their inner child. Thank you, spirit. That's what it is. They need to heal their inner child wounds, man. People are in their 50s and 60s, man, that haven't done any work on their shadow, on their healing, on anything, man. You got to do the healing, guys. Girls, all that in between, you got to do it. If you don't know how, go go to therapy. Go to therapy. Use tarot. I mean, I don't know. All right, let's see true emotional, and then I will let you go. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. You can pick more than one pile. Like I said, I just wanted to do something a little lighthearted today. Give me three, please, spirit. What do they need to know about this person when they picked pile one? Those who picked pile one, please. What do they need to know about this person? We have getting readings. Okay, well, you're getting a reading now, right? <laughs> so this person has probably gotten readings about you, pile one, because they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. Or you're heartbroken. It's energy. It could go back and forth. Next. Off and on, hot and cold, detached, ghosted. Yeah, what I say, this person is definitely, definitely a runner. Mm -hmm. Definitely a runner. This could be somebody from your past. Next, we have bumping heads. Yeah, you bumped heads with this person. We'll put this right by the hierophant reverse. You might bump heads with them if you believe this is a future person. Okay. All right, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates. I'm going to move on to Pio 2. Pio 2. Pio numero 2. The Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli or the keys. Let's see. For Pio 2. Pio 2. Lapis Lazuli. Hmm. All right. What is their future love connection, please? Archangel Michael. Give me three. What is Pile 2's future love connection? Mm 
give me three. We have here children. Your love life is being affected by children. Somebody here might have children. You or them. We have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so people's trust might be questioned here. You or theirs. Bottom of the deck, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. So somebody here might have children. Somebody here, you're going to need to really trust them. And somebody's going to be fine AF because somebody's going to find it hard to trust this person. All right. Okay. Let's see. What does your person want to say to you? Love messages. Let's do love messages. And then we will find out who you are and who they are. Let's see. What do they have? What messages do they have for you? Pile two. I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart to love again. Yeah, this person got hurt in the past. Probably could be from a baby mama or baby daddy, right? Children. Next. Ooh, we. We got, I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Wow. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. So somebody probably just wanted something platonic. They probably weren't ready is what I'm hearing for pile two. Maybe this could be you. There is no one else thinking about that I'm thinking about all day. Yeah. So there might be an issue with trust, but this person is definitely going to be attracted to you. You're going to be attracted to them. They're thinking about you all day, pile two. Okay, let's see. Who are you and who are they? If I don't accurately describe you, then you could pick another pile. Pile two. Who picked pile two, the viewer, please? Archangel Michael. We got eight of swords. Mm, this is somebody who self-sabotages. They put themselves here. Okay, don't forget. That's what that card means. Eight of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Maybe somebody's coming up with excuses is what I'm hearing. Why they can't date you. Maybe they're saying, oh, I have kids. I have too many kids. You don't want to date me, etc. I don't know. They could be using the kids also as an excuse. Next. Yeah, see, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody is afraid of making a love offer here. It's in the reverse, guys. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. So this person needs to do work on their heart chakra. Or that's you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody needs to do work on their heart chakra here. Attraction. Yeah, we got Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This is not a solid offer. This is not a message of love. Somebody could be holding back and not expressing how they feel here. Is what I feel. They could have self-sabotaged. Or they will. I don't know if this is future. I don't know where you're at on your timeline. Okay? Somebody here can also be a younger earth sign or a Aquarius Libra Gemini. Take it how it resonates. Okay? Let's see who your person is. Pio Dos. Who is your person? Let's see. Give me three, please, Archangel Michael, for pile two. We got Ace of Cups in the upright, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a romantic. This is somebody who believes in love, pile two. This is who your person is going to be. They want a new opportunity in love. They're going to be ready with open arms. Next, we got the Queen of Swords, but don't don't fuck around. You fuck around, you're going to find out with this person. This is a Queen of Swords. So they're not no fool. They're not no dummy. They're a nice person, but don't fuck around and find out with this person. They could be a King or Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I just heard, don't let this nice face, this pretty face fool you. <laughs> they're going to be like, don't let this pretty face, face fool you. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that either walked away from you or you walked away from them. Or they walked away from other people in the past, like I just said. 
Don't fuck around and find out with this person because you're going to find out this person don't play. They got their scissors ready to go. Snip, snip. They're not playing with people out here. They will walk away fast. They don't care if they got an open heart. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing Twisted by Keith Sweat. You know, you know, I love you. You got me twisted over you. I don't know. I can't sing. Don't come for me. But somebody might be listening to Keith Sweat or they love Keith Sweat. I don't know. Mm. What else does your person want to say to you? I've been trying to forget about you, but I can't. Yeah, see? This could be somebody you walked away from, pile two. Could be somebody brand new. I don't know y'all lives, okay? I've been trying to forget about you, but I can't. Next, I'm cutting you off for now. Look at this shit. Look at, doesn't this go perfectly on top of the Queen of Swords? What did I say? What did I say? I'm cutting you off for now. Snip, snip, motherfucker. This is not somebody you play with. Yeah, they could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but don't play with this person's heart. Because you're going to find out the hard way, especially when it comes to water signs. Uh-uh, you don't play with <laughs> shit. You don't play with water signs and their emotions, boy. I'm cutting you off for now. Look at that. That goes perfect. Don't y'all love when spirit does that? I love it. You like it? I love it. Give me one more, spirit. Give me one for this Ace of Cups. What's going on here? On top of children. Right here, I'm getting told. We'll do top of the deck, bottom of the deck. I'm trying to distract myself from thinking of you. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, this person's definitely thinking about you, Pile, um, pile 2. And if you don't have anybody right now, well, this is a future prediction. This person's not going to be able to stop thinking about you. Just watch it, though. They might self-sabotage. They might be afraid of commitment, too. All right. Okay. Let's do Island Time Wellness. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates, guys. Give me three, Spirit. We got cat Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, look at This is Eight of Swords. This is somebody who overthinks. They self-sabotage because they're always, always overthinking. Replaying events over in their head. Air energy. I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart again. Yeah, they're reluctantly going to open their heart. Pile two. I'm cutting you off for now with the fucking Queen of Swords. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing, pile two. We got talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives. Text, call, email, hoovering. This person's going to hoover. They don't know how to talk. They like to stalk. <laughs> like I always say, they don't know how to talk. They like to stalk. Welcome to social media, y'all. I've been trying to forget about you. I can't. So somebody walked away here. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's not, um, I'm here. Somebody's not forgetting or forgetting. Damn. They won't forgive and they won't forget right off the bat. But there's going to be attraction here. Bottom of the deck, the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. We got truth and trust. And we also got another sword. So this this might be definitely somebody who you cut off. Pile two. That wants to come back. I don't know. Or somebody that you will walk away from. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates. Let's do true emotional here. Give me three, please. What else does Pio 2 need to know? Archangel Michael. Okay, right here. Karmic ties. Yeah, there was a karmic here. That's what happened here. That's probably why you walked away. You probably couldn't trust them because there could have been a karmic involved. Or they will be. I don't know. I just give the messages, y'all. We'll put that over here next to Eight of Cups. 
Next, by Queen of Swords and Trust. This whole line, I'm cutting you off for now. What's the message here, Spirit? We got workplace affair in the reverse. I'm getting told keep it in the upright. Workplace affair. Somebody here could have had a workplace affair. You could have met them at work. Or somebody could have chose somebody at work. You could meet this person at work. Thank you, too. Thank you, Spirit. That's what they're telling me. You could have met this person at work. This is a karmic, though. You're going to learn a lesson here. Bottom of the deck. Bad credit. Debt, unemployed. If somebody here has bad credit, they have debt, or they're unemployed. I don't know. I just give the messages, y'all. I do not know. Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. All right, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates. If you don't like the message, you can always choose another pile, okay? Don't ever give tarot card readers, you know, 100% dominion over your life, guys. All right? All right. Moving on to pile three, Black Obsidian, the angel. The Black Obsidian angel and just black obsidian and the sunglasses like share subscribe to my channel let's see pile three i hear that song that Corey hart song i wear my sunglasses at night somebody hear my like 80s music i'm hearing um oh baby i think i love you from head to toe. That's what, Lisa Lisa and Colt Jam or something? Ooh, baby, I think I love you. From head to toe. I think I love you from head to toe. I can't sing, I know. <laughs> I can't sing, I know. Payo tres. What is going to happen here for the next love connection? What do they need to know? For the person who picked pile three, like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you want a personal reading, hit me up, beautifulplacetarot at gmail.com. All my socials are down below and all my other videos are down there as well. Thank you. Give me three, please, spirit. We have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, you might be afraid to trust again. You could have had a lot of bad experiences and love pile three. I'm hearing somebody say, oh, please don't tell me something bad. Look, I don't know what's going to come out, okay? Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Bottom of the deck, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And that's confirmation on my phone. This person might take you away to like a lot of nice retreats. They look like they're wearing wedding clothes here. So I don't know. You might go on a lot of vacations with this person, Pio 3. Wedding, look, as I flip over the cards, you might marry this person. Pile three. I told you they're wearing wedding clothes. Some of y'all are getting proposed to right now. Let's see what your person wants to tell you. It's safe for you to love this person. Some of y'all are afraid, I'm hearing. Some of y'all could have been hurt before. I'm hearing this person isn't going to hurt you. Give me three. We have, you are the one and only. We're going to put that by wedding. You are the one and only pile those three. Sorry, pile three. You might have to go back to pile two. You might have messages there. Next, we got, I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Ooh, we, this person keeps running. They keep running. Pile three. They keep running. Could be a lifetimes. Mm. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Could be somebody from your past or a past life. I don't know. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. You may not want to give this person a chance again. That's why you may, you don't feel safe to love this person. They could have fucked it up. I'm hearing. Pio 3. They could have messed it up. Let's see. Let's get more messages with these cards. Let's see. And then we'll go over who you are and who they are, okay? Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Archangel Michael, give me three, please. We got you are my missing piece. 
Hmm. Well, then why you run away for pendejo? <laughs> Tell them, Pio 3, why you run away, dummy? You're the best that's ever happened to me. Aw, I'm hearing Drake. You the fucking best. You the, you the best. The best I ever had. You're the best that's ever happened to me. The best that thing that's ever happened to me, I'm guessing. Okay. They might want to go away with you. I don't know. Something about vacationing. Next, we got, I'm trying to understand myself more. Maybe before you guys get married, this person will do some introspection. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. Let's see who they are and who you are. Let's see. Like, share, subscribe to my channel, please. Who picked Pile 3? The Watcher, please. Archangel Michael. We got the Lovers in the Reverse. That's my unrequited love card. Could be a Gemini involved. The Lovers is in the Reverse. Could be a Twin Flame. Wow. No plus wow. We got the Six of Swords in the Reverse. Damn. This is somebody that doesn't want to move on from you. They don't want to move on from you. You're the best thing I've ever had. So they don't want to move on from you. That's somebody who could have left you in the past and now they want to come back. They want to spin the block, as the kids say, right? Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, eight of, no, nine of swords. This is the wounded warrior. I'm getting told to pull a different card. Let's pull a different card. This person could have trauma from childhood, neglect. I'm hearing um, abuse, abandonment wounds. This is why they may need to understand their self more. This could be you. Take it how it resonates. It, it's energy, guys. It could go back and forth. Give me one, please. Yeah, ton of swords. That's what I thought. I thought so. Ton of swords. Somebody could have got backstabbed and betrayed either by this person or just in general. Yeah, because the nine of uh, wands is usually my card of neglect, abandonment, abuse. Ten of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. Show me who their person is, spirit, please. Who picked pile three? Who picked pile three? Oh, well, well the, I've already chosen that. Show me their person, spirit. Show me their persons. Who are they? We got the sun. Damn, could be a Leo. Pile three, you're going to marry this person. Could be a Leo. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. They could be a younger water sign as well. They could be younger than you. Mm -hmm. They're vibrant. A lot of love. The, the sun is the happiest card in tarot, guys. I don't need to tell you that. I know I got tarot hoes that watch me. Hey. Hey, tarot hoes. <laughs> Don't take offense to that. I mean it with love. Seven of swords. Yeah, this is a liar, a cheater, a backstabber. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if y'all want to marry this person, but that's what's coming out. I can't change the cards. I guess I can, right? I'm the reader. Let's see. Let's do one more. Expand on this spirit. Why is this a liar, a cheater? Why are they strategic? Ooh, we... I'm, I'm going to shuffle. Give me one more for that seven of swords. The emperor in the reverse. Yeah, we don't like that. The emperor in the reverse is a dusty. It's somebody who doesn't have abundance and an abundant mindset, who isn't an entrepreneur, who isn't a good provider, right? It's everything that the, um, the emperor is not, Okay. So this could be an Aries or a Capricorn or that's you. I don't know. And my uh, thing, I have a fly swatter that just, that just killed two flies. So I don't know. That could be symbolic. I don't know. It just killed two, two flies. I have this swatter, guys, that the flies, they fly into it and it electrocutes them. So I don't know. This person wants control. They could be abusive or overly controlling, I just heard. They could be a liar, a stealer. They are, they already backstabbed you. I'm trying to understand myself more. 
you are the one and only, and they want to marry you. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Mm -mm. <laughs> Pile three. This person might need a lot of healing. You know, think about if you guys ever want to get married, you know, think about doing like, you know, therapy together. I don't know. That's coming through. Okay. Let's do true emotional. And then I will let you go. Am I doing true emotional? No, let's do island times. Island times first. And then we'll do true emotional. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. For pile three, what do they need to know, please, spirit? We got a mask. Not showing true feelings. Hide personality. Pretend, delude, gaslighting. Yeah, you got to watch this person. We'll put that over here with seven of swords. Next, we got the snake. Yeah, y'all might have to be careful. Pile three. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah, there's a snake here. There's a snake. Next, we got paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. <sighs> if you walked away from this person, stay walked away. That's what I'm hearing. Stay walked away. Pile three. But you, you're grown. You do whatever the hell you want. All right. Give me three, please, spirit. What do they need to know for those who picked pile three? Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates, guys. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We got cycle. Crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. We'll put that over here with all this shit. <laughs> this could be an Aries or a Capricorn. I don't know. Mm, don't marry them. <laughs> I just heard somebody say, don't marry them. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We got trap. Yeah, somebody's going to try to trap you. Pio 3. They could try to trap you with a baby. If you're a man or if you are a woman. I don't know. I, I be telling y'all there's womb raiders out here. We got secret accounts. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Secret accounts. This is a hoe. This is a slut, basically. They need attention. These people like this that have secret accounts and shit online, they're hoes. They're sluts. They just need attention. They need to fill a void with anybody. It don't even matter who. Give me one more on this spirit. And look, at that was confirmation on my phone. Give me one more. You, you already feel like it's not safe for you to love this person, pile three. Secret accounts. Fuck. We got a funeral. Yeah, it, it's dead. It's It ended. Somebody doesn't want to end it. No, let it die. I don't know. Funeral is in the reverse. Yeah, let this end. If this is somebody from your past, I don't know. You are my missing piece. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Yeah, if this is somebody from your past, don't, don't let them back. This, this is karmic. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Because you're an idiot. <laughs> Say it with me, pendejo. Pendeja. Say it with me. Everybody together. Pendejo. Yeah. Mm, pile three. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates down below. All right, guys. I love you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.